Hello, welcome to Sandwiches Reviews and Recommendations. I am wearing a suit not because I am going for an interview, sadly. I am here to talk about Ray Donovan the movie. Whilst it is titled Ray Donovan the movie, I would say it feels more like an extended episode, if anything. Starting with a recap of what happened in the last two to three episodes of season seven, and then the plot goes into full swing. And what I really did enjoy about how they started it off is that we see that the four Donovan boys getting together, having a few drinks, telling a few stories. It's nice to see these characters get together because it is a rarity at times. It's usually because they're either having to chop up bodies or, you know, get into an argument over dead people or what Ray's gotten them all into or what Mickey has got them all into. And so this was a nice somewhat touch, even though they have just come from a funeral. And it's at this moment Bridget catches them and because it was her husband who had died, the way they deal with death is somewhat confusing and quite disturbing to her and she realises that and says to them that your way of dealing with death and tragedy and brushing it away is disturbing as because that's how you were taught by Mickey, their father, and she really goes in and sets them back into reality. Like, this is not normal, someone has just died. Really enjoyed that. And then the plot goes into full swing where we see Ray Donovan having to go back to Boston to find his dad, to collect stolen items from another family, but also the possibility to kill his dad. Whilst that is supposedly the plot, What's also enjoyable is we see Ray going after his dad, but knowing it's nice that even though he hates his dad, he won't let him get hurt or injured by other people. And it's either because he does love his dad, or it's because he wants to do it. He doesn't want others to do the act for him. What was a nice touch in this film is it continues off from what season seven was doing, and we see how Ray got into this cleaning business of helping out celebrities when they get themselves into quite a tricky situation. And we see that it was quite a dark way to get into it, as we see that he framed his dad with a murder so that this celebrity can get away with it, and that's how he got himself into the business. And it's nice that we see Ray finally talk to his dad about this and goes tries to apologise but his dad already forgives him. We see this quite nice father-son moment which is sadly cut short. My main issue I do have with this film is whilst I understand the plot is about Ray Donovan, the other three Donovan boys that I feel like they kind of get screwed plot-wise. Now Daryl, his plot somewhat ends 20 minutes into the film and Whilst it's nice that we know his character has an arc and it ends, it's at the same time sad that it's so quick they kind of cut him away and we don't, we never get to see him until the very end of the film and he's just on a plane. And it's, mm. But that's his plot. Bunchy, whilst he is used as like to make the film somewhat on the lighter side, he in a way gets his own ending as it's seems somewhat hopeful that because he calls his ex-wife and they talk about the possibility of getting back together and instead of his idea of going to live in Boston she suggests coming down to Mexico and it seems that that's what he's going to be doing next and it's quite nice. The one thing that does bother me is the brother Terry who I personally feel doesn't get a good enough ending. But compared to the other two they've got their own story and you you know what's going to happen with Terry. It just seems like he's stuck in this hotel because he didn't decide to go with both Bunch and Bridget to Boston. And he's just staying there and he's cooking a meal. And in his head, he's seeing his entire family, he's eating lunch, but in reality, he's just by himself. And it's somewhat sad. Like, you'd think they could do more with this character, but no. The main story with Ray is very interesting and it was a nice way to end the show, but I felt like the way it ended, it added more questions than, than to it than we, I know for a fact we're probably never going to get answers. Uh, questions such as what's going to happen with Bunch, which we somewhat know, but uh, with what Bridget has recently done, what's going to happen to her, and uh, with Ray, will he be okay? 
and will he be able to get out of prison or it's an, yeah it's a whole lot of questions which it would be nice to get some answers but do you know what, I, I can take it overall I did enjoy this as we get some sort of conclusion to season 7 and whilst it does add a few extra questions overall I'm not too fuss and the way they ended this is somewhat fitting with the Ray and Mickey situation it's nice that what Ray did to him is now in a way happening to him it's it somewhat makes sense and fitting rating wise I'm gonna be honest I thought it was okay if it concluded a bit more f and it would definitely be up there higher but for now I'm just gonna give it a 7.5 on to recommendations I 100% recommend the TV show Ray Donovan I think it was a great TV show I think the first four seasons were at best I think season five was okay I think because the the way they were telling to the it was a very neo noir plot, so you're going into the past, to the middle, to the present, and it's very headachey to an extent. The way they did it, like other shows do it very well. I just I think it was not that that greatly done. Season six was quite good to watch. It was nice to see Ray get back on his feet, but then season seven was interesting. But it's the with this added on, it makes it a better season, but the way they entered that at the time, I thought was very weak. Speaking of shows like Ray Donovan, the creator of Ray Donovan, Anne Biderman, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, she wrote a show previous to this called Southland, a great, exceptional cop show, which sadly I don't think gets talked about enough. It should definitely be in the list of great cop shows. Five seasons was on uh, TNT and I think it was NBC before, but yeah, definitely a great show. Do go check it out. Now, with Ray, there's a lot of um, parts of him, like personality and traits, that remind me of other characters. So the way he is able to get out of situations that most people would not be able to get out of, very tricky situations involving the law and all that, he reminds me of Sneaky Pete from... Uh, the TV show Sneaky Pete, as well as Raymond Reddington with his cunningness and intelligence, reminds me of Raymond Reddington from The Blacklist, and the humour of the show somewhat reminds me of Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, but also one of the main things is that as a cleaner he has to clean up not only after clients, but also associates and friends, and that reminds me of Vic Mackey when he gets into tight situations like that as well, Vic Mackey of course from The Shield. Alright, those are my recommendations. I hope you go and watch that.